beauties so I'm going to be telling you guys my quick 10 minute everyday flawless makeup routine so if you guys want to see this video stay tuned I'll be giving you guys all the products I use all the details and everything if you're not already subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and also turn on that little post notifications bell so you're notified every single time I upload a brand new video also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and keep up with me on all of my social media and let's not waste some more time let's get right on into the video I got 10 minutes to do my makeup so I like to first start off with Anastasia Beverly Hills the luminous foundation my shade is in the color 450 C and you guys are about to see how luminous it is this does have a pump but I literally just open the bottle and just spread it on my face like that in just a swirling motion and while that foundation did on my face I also like to go ahead and conceal so for concealer I have several different concealers that I like. Drugstore One, let me see if I have it in front of me right now. If you guys could only see my makeup table. <laughs> yeah, it looks crazy. But okay, Drugstore concealer that I swear by is the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. Yeah, this concealer is fire. In this concealer, I am in the color M500, which is a soft tan. But for today's flawless makeup look, and I have been using this for a while, I love the Makeup by Mario Concealer, the Surreal Skin Awakening Concealer, and I like to use the color 340. I think it's fire. So for concealer, I like to just go ahead and put two swipes here under my eye. It's going to help give us a nice natural eye lift. So I do that to both eyes and then here on the bridge of my nose so we can contour. And then I like to also highlight the top of my lip. So I just put a few swipes there and I let that sit and set in and I like to let it sit on my face because it's just gonna give us more coverage now it's time to blend out our foundation and you guys are gonna see it literally turn into like skin like look at it guys is this T skin <laughs> is this my skin and I like to just go ahead and continue to blend it out all over my face. It is literally the slightest shade darker than me, but that's okay because with all of the contouring and that I'm doing, it all just blends together super well. And I do have a pimple here on my forehead if you guys, you guys probably seen it already. Okay, so our foundation is blended out and now I like to take this Morphe contour stick. It's in the color effect 17 it lays on super smooth I always contour under my cheekbones literally right under my cheekbones and then I like to just contour right outside of the bridge of my nose to just make our nose look super snatched let's blend out the concealer now so I like to first start off under the lip and I take the bottom of my blending sponge. My sponge is not wet. I know you can use a wet blending sponge, but I want more coverage. And I think the dry blending sponge does a perfect job at giving me more coverage. And all I continue to do is just light tap. Then I like to blend out the bridge of my nose. So the bridge of our nose looks super snatched right now. And then I blend out the contour for this one first by just taking this kind of angled brush and just brushing down that contour. Nose on snatch. And then now is when I begin to blend out my eyes. And do you guys see that coverage? By the way guys, yes, I put lashes on off camera because your girl struggles with putting on lashes. If y'all watch the vlog, y'all know I'm going through changing lash text. So I normally have lash extensions in, but right now your girl is wearing lashes until I find a good lash tech. And then I like to take the bottom of the blending sponge and just kind of like to fade it into here a little bit. Look at the coverage for the Makeup by Mario concealer. The coverage looks amazing. And then I just go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Okay, so we're all blended and now it is time to blend in our contour. So I like to use this Morphe brush. It's the M447 brush. It's good to blend out your contour and I honestly love this brush like 
it blends out the contour so smoothly like it blends it right into your skin and if you guys can tell not only do my eyes look lifted but my cheeks look lifted too with me putting the contour right under my cheekbone so yeah let's blend this in okay so we are all blended out and we got a nice bright under eye which is what I like and you see how it's bright here but it kind of fades out as we go out that's what I like that's how I like my makeup to sit and that's why I use a dry blending sponge I like to use to set my face the Ben Nye luxury banana powder this banana powder fire fire the color is amazing on my skin my powder actually put into a smaller painter to just help me spread it better I like to use these triangular puff pads to put on my powder so one trick that I use well first off I like to press into the powder and then tap off any excess powder so that it goes on smooth right and before I even and lay that powder onto my face I go back in with the blending sponge just to make sure if there's anything creasing like as you guys can see there's a little bit of creasing here so I like to go back in with the blending sponge and blur out any of those creasing lines and this makes our makeup lay even more seamless and now I go right in and press the powder into my face and then continue to press it along perfect just how I like it your under eyes naturally do crease but if you blend it out smoothly it's not even gonna look like it creases at all and by the way this makeup by Mario concealer you actually don't need to use powder but I am for just let's just say dramatic effect you could just leave this as is but I like the powder you guys let me know if y'all see a difference between it if I were to just leave it like this and if the powder actually did something so then I like to just put powder in all the areas that we did put the concealer so of course at the bridge of our nose to set it and then right underneath our nose and then to add a little bit more dramatic effect to our contour I like to put a little line of powder right underneath where I started the contour so I like to pucker up my face like this and right there where you see that line is where we wanted to just look extra snatched everything is for dramatic effect okay so we are all done with the powder so now I like to take the morphe highlight contour palette this palette looks a little crazy but I like to go in with this color in the palette take two taps dust off any excess and just go and pat into where we contour at basically set the contour now it's time to blend all of that powder Okay, so we're all blended out and we have a nice bright under eye. Now, just to add a little bit more detail to our eyes, I like to use this Wonder Pencil from NYX. I don't know if they still sell this anymore or not because I've had this for a while. It literally is this much left. The pencil was probably like this long. But you can use any sort of under eye brightening kind of pencil. And I just go in to my under eye. Let me know if you guys see a difference. So now, let's use some blush so for blush i absolutely love the luminoso baked powder blush in number five by milani cosmetic it's so freaking pretty oh my goodness and i like to use a lot of blush i feel like it just makes my cheeks look nice and rosy and cute so i like to smile when i put on my blush so that i can see where the blush is gonna show and look all rosy and stuff smile so right there is where we're gonna start the blush Look at that. So pretty. It's like such a pretty blush. And this is not too expensive. This is a drugstore makeup. Milani Cosmetics is at your local CVS Walgreens. And it is also at Ulta. So pick it up wherever. I'll try to also make sure that I link everything below for you guys. Always dust off any excess. Because that excess will make your face look cakey. And we don't like anything cakey. We like everything to lay seamless and flawless. So now it is time to set our face. So there's a few setting sprays I like. I love one size, you guys already know. I actually love Too Faced 
the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush. And I also like the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. For today, I'm gonna use this Too Faced one. And then I like to take this little fan that my mama got me and go ahead and let that just sink in. There. This has set and dried. I'm gonna go in with Charlotte Tilbury for today. And I like to get our face drenched. This Charlotte Tilbury is gonna give you day all day, no melting, no fading, no creasing. It is a prime and set for up to 16 hours. And your girl's working a double today, so I need the coverage for up to 16 hours. As you can see, our face is drenched in it, and I love it, and it really does keep my face from creasing or anything like that for all those hours, so I love it. But again, you guys, I swear by any of those setting sprays that I use because I do use all of them. I absolutely love one size and an amazing waterproof setting spray. So vacay days, whatever, <laughs> definitely use that. People always ask me like, how do I make my face glitter? Fenty, y'all, Fenty. This is a gem right here because I'm not putting too many people on. This is the Fenty Diamond Bomb in the color Cognac Candy. Pretty, you guys. So I like to after setting yes after setting I take a lot of the glitter and we just put it over our blush and everything almost as like a highlight I know people aren't really into highlight anymore but this is my form of still using highlight I like to just add a little bit of mascara to my bottom lashes y'all know I got ombre brows so I don't really do anything to my brows except just brush them up into place and if i am gonna do anything then i'm gonna use the anastasia brow freeze but i did just get my brows waxed and cleaned up so i don't really need to use a brow freeze right now so i kind of just brush them into place i don't fill them in none of that but for the people who do fill in your brows and you don't have ombre brows i used to love to use the anastasia brow pencils or the dip brow i forgot to even put anything onto my eyelid i'm gonna just do it now i just like to use the same contour color that i used and just dust that on my eyes i like to line my lips with this with this nyx um lip pencil it's in the color downtown beauty we're just gonna line our lips And then I like to use the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Praline and I just put a little on the top and just swipe the rest onto the bottom. And then I like to go in with my very own lip gloss from Naked Glow. If you guys do still want to purchase, I do still have lip glosses available, but you'll have to message me on one of my social medias and say I want to purchase a lip gloss. And then I like to just put a nice clear gloss over. And our makeup is done. Well, let me get dressed and then we'll be back to check out the makeup. Okay, so this was our makeup look. And I hope you beauties enjoyed. It looks super seamless, nice, flawless. It looks so pretty in person. And this is my everyday flawless makeup look. If I wanna do a little bit more, I definitely could step it up a notch, but this is just a nice, pretty, everyday, flawless makeup look. And I honestly love it. I hope you guys enjoyed and were able to understand how I explained everything. Let me know in the comments if I did good at explaining everything into detail and how to put it and everything on my face but let me go because I'm actually gonna be late for work but I had to get this video out for you guys so let's just put on a little perfume and then we are hitting the road so for perfume today I'm gonna use the Ariana Grande cloud perfume yeah so not only are we looking good but we are also smelling good if you guys didn't watch my favorite perfumes video go ahead and check that out right now because I'm telling you guys 
I I got all the smell goods, okay? All right, beauties. So I will see you guys in the next video. Drop below in the comments any videos that you guys want to see. And I love you, beauties, and I'll talk to y'all later. Oh.